The Apple TV app and Apple TV Plus, are these the same or different? There's also an Apple TV box. So, Apple have three almost identically named products that are entirely different. Brilliant, no wonder there's confusion. Let me take you through what they actually are and how to get the most from them. First, the Apple TV box. This is a media streaming device that connects to your TV, allowing you to access hundreds of apps to watch movies, TV series, play games, and much more. This excellent little device warrants its own dedicated video, so for now we'll focus on the Apple TV app and Apple TV+. Plus. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe, this always helps. My videos are designed for everyday people who aren't tech experts. I'll answer common questions and help you get the most from your home tech. Let's start with the Apple TV app. Of course, it's a standard app on an Apple TV box, but it's also available on most smart TVs. You can download the app to an iPad, iPhone, and Android devices, as well as PlayStation, Xbox, and your computer. The main purpose of the Apple TV app is to give you access to Apple media, like TV series and movies. You can do this through the Apple TV Plus monthly subscription service, or by renting and buying through the Apple Store. Let's have a look at the Apple TV app now on my TV. I'm going to demonstrate the Apple TV app using an Apple TV box, but this is going to look very similar on most smart TVs. Here's the Apple TV app. If I select, once I'm in the app, if I move to the left, it will display this menu. I only use three features on this menu, Apple TV Plus, Store, and Library. If we start with Apple TV Plus, Apple TV Plus is Apple's monthly subscription service. So if you like, think of this as Apple's version of Netflix. Once subscribed, you have access to the entire library. If you select a title using the Apple TV app and it states that there is an extra charge to watch, you have selected something from somewhere other than Apple TV+. Plus. Again, there is no extra charge when using the Apple TV Plus library. If I move through the library, it will display the top 10 TV shows, first of all. Slow Horses is number one, and that's fair enough. Gary Oldman is brilliant at being awful. Top 10 movies, and if I keep moving through the library, one section that I find very useful is Browse by Category. This will show each genre, and when you select a genre, it will display all titles under that genre, which may make it a little bit easier to find what you're after when browsing. If I move back again to display the menu on the side, if I now move down to Store, this is a completely different library to Apple TV+, and there is no monthly subscription here. This is where you come to buy or rent a movie or buy a TV series. If you rent a movie but do not start it, it will stay on your system for 30 days. But once you have started it, it will expire after 48 hours, and in some countries that is 24 hours. It is not a once watch. You could watch it today, somebody else could watch it tomorrow. You can also pause it and fast forward and rewind. It is your movie for that time period. If you buy, it never disappears. If we now move out of the store, and this time select library, the library will display any movie you currently have rented or any movie or TV series you have previously purchased. Purchase titles, you can rewatch at any time, you never pay twice. So, in summary, anything that you purchase in store drops into library. At the top, there is a search function, but be aware the search is searching both the Apple TV Plus and the Apple Store libraries at the same time. Quick tip, if you use Apple's family sharing service, which allows up to six members, all members will have access to the Apple TV Plus library, as well as any purchases or rentals from the store. Quick tip two, if you have recently purchased an Apple TV box or an eligible product from Apple, you may receive three free months of Apple TV Plus. That is worth checking. And that is the basics of the Apple TV app. 
Let me know in the comments how you found using the Apple TV app, and of course, any movie or TV series recommendations. We're all interested in those. I am building a library of easy to understand home technology videos with playlists to help you. Subscribe to Tech with Tony, and I'll see you there.